In Kano, Nigeria, many of these books challenge conservative Muslim traditions, like child marriage or quick divorce. They're also signs of a feminist revolution. When you educate a woman, you educate a world. Hadiza Nuhu Gadaji is a veteran writer. She says the books, some handwritten, some printed, help move women forward in a society where only one in five girls has had any formal education. I showed the people to, 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 to stay with their children no matter what, no matter poverty, and they should give them a good education. Many titles are romance novels and address how to deal with problematic husbands. Others rail against a strict interpretation of Islam, propagated by the extremist group Boko Haram. The group has kidnapped hundreds of schoolgirls and forced them to marry militants. Gudaji admits there are limits to the works. You have to minimize your word when writing, like maybe you want to talk about husband and wife. There is a limitation. Sometimes the reaction is violent. Gudaji says one woman was badly beaten and another was gang raped in her home after she published a book about women's rights in politics. Still, the novellas are extremely popular. Gudaji is a frequent guest on radio shows, many of which have daily readings to make the works more accessible to the illiterate. Critics say the novellas give girls unrealistic expectations, inspire rebellion, and are un-Islamic. But they're also having an impact with males. So men, they start learning, understanding. This is a very important thing. So I know a woman bring a revolution into our society. Not all the romances challenge the status quo. They range from the universal Cinderella story of a poor girl marrying a prince to how to behave when your husband takes a second wife. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.